Well, hello, my astropunk followers. I'm looking down at something, something very important. See that thing out the back there? That? Let's let's go back around to it, shall we? See that? I have very lovingly taped on. Yes, I know. I taped it on. It's um, Eddie's Eddie Pang's ASI Air Mini. Sorry, Eddie. I do apologise, Eddie. I had no nothing to. It's the, only, it's the only way I could hook it on. Anyway, I've been trying to get that thing to work. And which cable is it? Which cable is it? There, whoop, whoop. This cable, this one here. Hang on. Let's, this one here, which goes up to this. It hasn't been doing what I wanted to do. I can get the app on the phone going and I can move. I can move the scope manually by, you know. But when I go to polar align it, it does the first plate solve and goes, yay, plate solve, wonderful. But then you go to, it goes to rotate to the next one. Doesn't want to move. Doesn't want to move. So, I've been having to chat to a few people. Oh, the dogs are barking. Next door's dogs are barking. Someone's walking past, that's all it is. Um, they're noisy, those dogs are really friggin' noisy. Anyway, um, I found out that it might be the cable that's the issue. And one of my fellow astrophotographers, shout out to this way around, Ross Dawes, gave me this uh particular it's for an ioptron but we think it might work so we're gonna i'm gonna test it with this one again just to see if it was just like a one-off thing but if it doesn't work i'm gonna try this one tonight so that's one of the things i'm gonna do tonight but also tonight this one up and running ready to go i have this one ready to go gonna do some imaging with this just fun i know the moon's out but i'll use some filters and i'm gonna test this little beast again and see if i can get polar alignment better because I need to write some instruction for the because that's a loan scope for the astronomy club um, but I'm also going to muck around with um, another one of the astronomy club's toys which we only just recently got this little thing one of these unistellars so I am absolutely set to go tonight with four telescopes that's that's what I'm up to on this mostly clear night that's gonna clear it's gonna clear up here anyway by about 11 ish thereabouts um so that'll be that'll be cool but yeah i'm gonna muck around with all of these toys tonight i'm gonna practice polar aligning i'm going to just do some random imaging might do karina nebula again on this one and i'm going to practice polar aligning and see if i can polar align on this one and i'm going to give this its first proper run and see how it works. It'll get handed to one of our AFTP volunteers to look after and use at outreach, which will be good fun. But yeah, that is what I'm playing with tonight. Bit of fun. Um, update on a few other things. I've got a very, very, very important meeting tomorrow that I'm really looking forward to at Melbourne Observatory. Um, it's one of the coolest things to happen to me in my life. That, that's, that's all I'll say about it for now. Hopefully I can uh, do a vlog from there. Fingers crossed I'm allowed to, because uh, it would be very, very, very cool. And then, man, that's pretty much it for me. And on Thursday, you won't see me. I won't be doing any astronomy. I'm off to see Blink 182 in concert. That's gonna be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is my fun project for tonight. I also did a bit of maintenance on the Ioptron mount. I saw in, you saw in a vlog the other day. I ended up not being able to get the right Allen key for it the other day, so I, I went and bought some Allen keys, a set of Imperial and metric, freaking Imperial Allen keys, and managed to tighten up the mount on that again. Fingers crossed it works nicely tonight. We'll soon find out anyway. So yeah, it's a it's a night of testing and maintenance and shits and giggles. Um, that's it for me. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Merch at the merch store, astropunk.store, and we'll see you on the next vlog.